Hello, my name's Nick O'Shea and I'm the Chief Economist at Centre for Mental Health. In these unpredicted and unpredictable times, we thought it might be a good idea just to offer some practical support to people, in this case those who are running small charities or organisations and are wondering about the financial implications of what's going on at the moment. So this is just a very short guide about some practical things that you should probably be doing over the next week. Um, the first thing to say, however, is that actually if you're watching this and you're a funder or a statutory provider funder, you know, please, this is the moment really to make sure that you look after the small charities and organisations that you're funding who often work on a shoestring. So for those organisations, I think it's really important that that funding continues to stay in place, even when we're not sure what is going to happen. Anyway, OK, you're in a small organisation, you've got to do some maths. So the first thing to do is actually to look at how much reserves you've got, because your board will want to know if everything collapses, actually, how much money do you have to keep going and how many months will that keep the organisation afloat? So the first thing really to do is find out what your restricted and your unrestricted reserves are and work out that total. Then look at your running costs for the year. So you might use last year's running costs. You might look at this year's predicted. Either way, take that sum and divide it by 12. So if your total running costs for the year are 144,000, then that means it's going to be 12,000 pounds a month. Once you've got that figure, go back to your reserves and take that figure, say it's you know, 100,000 pounds, and divide that by the costs per month of running. And that will give you the number of months your organisation is to continue. So hopefully that's a high number. The next thing to do is then give your best guess for the board about what exactly you think is going to happen with each of the areas of your income. So that could be grants, it could be um, charitable income, it could be donations and it could be trading. <clears throat> so the thing to do there is get a spreadsheet out. We all, we all love a spreadsheet, um, but really just to look line by line at each project coming in and then look at the contract and make your best guess as to what's going to happen. So if your work's being delayed by three to six months, what does the contract say will happen? What do you think is your best guess? So you might look at a piece of work, say for um, young people and say, okay, the value of that contract is 20,000 pounds. Realistically, I think I'm gonna get 15. So you write 15 in. Then all you do is just go through the entire profile as it's known of the organization and each component and what it is you think you're going to end up with. Now the result of that is if you get all your components right, you'll get your total right. And what that will do is give you an idea of what you think your income is going to be over the next year. And that's really what your board will want to know. Now a big thing with this is also it's quite important to make sure that you update that because you can't just do a prediction and then hope it's going to be okay. Information will change over time and you'll need to be sure that you kind of have the right figures in there. So my recommendation would be every month every week if you can, but every month you update it and you give that to the board. So hopefully those are the main things that you need to do this week and hopefully that is of some help. So find out your reserves, work out your running costs and how long you've got if all else fails, and then finally do your best guess of what you think is going to happen in terms of your income and what that means for your expenditure and sort of the case for you going ahead and how you work. So good luck. We're all in this together. What you're suffering now is very common. Unfortunately, a lot of organisations aim to do exactly this and work out what we do. So you're not alone. And I hope this has helped you. Thank you.